Hey, hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Rath, we're at House of Power, Rath Sports Medicine and Acupuncture. Uh, we're gonna have Sean DeMarinas actually come in here in just a bit. So we're gonna get him on the phone, so where he's at, and uh, see what we got going on. Hey Sean, what's up? It's Dr. Rath, how's it going? Hey, what's up dude? Hey, yeah, uh, we're meeting up this morning, right? Uh, are, you, are you almost here? Yeah, I'm actually up right now. Okay, perfect. We'll see you in just a second, alright? Okay, bye. So, Sean's actually getting prepared for World's Strongest Man. He just qualified. He's doing, I believe, the under 105 kilogram weight class. And uh, he cinched in you know, his uh, qualification pretty good at the last event that he was at. So he's coming in, we're gonna work on it. I believe he's got something going on with his pet. So let's just go ahead and check it out and see what's going on with him. Sean, what's up, bud? Come on in. Let's do it. Alright Sean, tell me a little about what's going on man. Um, well, right now um, we get ready for the World Contest, yes. which is at the end of July. Okay. Um, so looking to get just basic kind of tune up here, okay. open up my chest, okay. shoulders. You know, with all the heavy training that we're doing leading up to the show, uh, body's just getting kind of beat down a little yeah. bit. So, you know, you. a good tune up just to kind of release some of the, um, the soreness and the pain that's associated with my shoulders and just kind of, uh, you know, get me healthy again. Tell me what's going on specifically. Yeah, you were pointing over into the corner, right? over Yeah, here. so every so often I always kind of strain my uh, right pec, okay. kind of shoulder bicep attachment in here. Right. Uh, which I've had the injury, God, since I've been powerlifting since I was, you know, 17. Yeah. So I've always had issues in there. Definitely get some therapy done in there. Gotcha. Get the blood flow in there yes. and kind of help it heal up and get me ready for the show. Sounds good. Because he's got a fresh injury, we don't want to work directly on it with anything too aggressive in terms of grassing or active release. That'll just piss off the muscle even more. So what I'm going to do, my plan is going to be to work around the tissue. We're going to lengthen uh, the tissue from the belly of the peg, from the sternum and underneath. That way we can relieve some of that tension from the injury, get him a little bit more comfortable. Uh, we get some increased circulation, increase uh, some, some healing time. We'll probably do some ultrasound and some electrical stimulation too, and then adjust this upper back to kind of open up those ribs and just kind of help them relax a little bit, restore some range of motion. So where is most of the tenderness right So now? right now it's like, it happens like you're right, right here. Um, do you see like the difference? So, right through here, right? Yeah, it's like right there, but I can feel a lot like in the bicep. Yeah, as it hooks um, into the humerus. Yeah, because it gets, this gets real tender and sore, and then when that starts getting tender and sore, then I know that this is in danger of yes, something exactly. happening. So here's what we're going to do. I want to open up a little bit of the delt tube. Yep. We're going to stay away from the insertion part of yep. the pack right through here. We'll probably work pec minor and we'll work okay. the pec major on top yeah. of it through here. Okay. Long time ago. So the whole point doing grass and especially with this area is just to kind of increase circulation, get some blood flowing. He's getting ready for the big show, World's Strongest Man, so he's moving tons and tons of weight. It's a lot of wear and tear on his body. Pumps are great and all, blood gets stuck in there and we gotta open things back up to get increased circulation. Move, move things around a little bit. What we'll do next, we're gonna do some ultrasound over the, the inflamed area right now, okay? You probably feel nothing, but if anything, warmth and maybe a little bit of vibration, okay? I'm gonna adjust the power as we need to. Where's your where's the bulk of your training going on right now? We're at Scott's at East uh, Honestly, I, I like it to be here. Okay. Uh, but it just depends on scheduling. And of course. When the training partners can, can meet me. Gotcha. Your director is on fire. Yeah. Good. Deep breath. Perfect. So the electrical stimulation will actually help get rid of any muscle spasm, charge the cells, and help them relax. I mean, he's, he's competing at a world-class level, so we really want to try to pull out all the stops as best as we can. Sometimes you hear, well, are these things really useful? Uh, I've used ultrasound and stem for many years, so I'm a firm believer of it. There you go. Oop, there you go. Keep going. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're done with this. So again, I think stick to your game plan right now. Take it nice and easy, work around it, okay? You got a timeline, so I wanna I wanna help as much as I can, okay? How's it feeling? Feel good? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just hanging up. Oh, no, of course, of course. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Yeah, it feels good. Thank right. you. Um, you know, I think things went pretty well overall. I mean, especially considering how fresh the injury is, the types of things that we can do with it. It's, it's common sense not to go over a freshly injured area. That's just ludicrous, okay? I would just end up making it worse. I would end up, you know, setting him back even longer. So working around it, just like he's changing with his uh, actual physical workout schedule is gonna be the best thing. We wanna increase circulation. We wanna increase uh, and create as much of a healing environment as possible so that when the day comes, he can kill it and he comes back home. The world's strongest man, you know what I mean?
Uh, that's pretty exciting. I'm really, I'm really happy for him. The East Coast, West Coast guys, they're all a really tight crew. They all work really, really hard. That's why they're the ones that are winning all these things. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he came home with some nice hard work.